My fucking Legos. Shit. Get the Legos out of the camera. No one saw the Legos. No one. Why the fuck is my TV on? Oh, my lamp. Oh, nothing's prepared. I didn't do anything right. Anyways. <laughs> Hi, viewers. I'm Chris Sizzly, and I've been gone for a while. Yeah, uh, I've been gone for like three months or something like that. I have no clue how long. Move my duct tape out the way. Um, no, I have been gone for quite some time, uh, like three months. I haven't streamed. I haven't recorded. I mean, I did record some videos and I edited them, but I didn't post them because I didn't like them. That, that's and that's something I'll get into. I want to talk about first off me for just a few minutes because there's not really much that went on. The reason why videos weren't made is because I was being lazy. I mean, there were like some personal things that happened, but really, most mostly there's some like, mostly it's just like you know me being lazy, and not editing videos, and that's completely on me. Uh, so yeah, here I am now. <laughs> uh, I actually recorded a few videos I was gonna post. Uh, I didn't really like them. I have to post one of them because it's Left for Dead, Left for Dead Part Four, and I'll get to that. But I really wanted to post something like this first before I did that. So just uploads aren't random like that, like they used to be. Um, so yeah, I've been gone for about three months. I do plan on starting streaming again. Uh, we are going to be streaming, as you saw the Legos back there. We're going to be streaming, uh, I think Thursday, uh, at least I'm going to try to, uh, as long as nothing comes up. Uh, so yeah, be there for that, I guess. Uh, overall, nothing really with me. Um, now, enough news about me. Let's talk about something that I really want to. There's a lot that's happening in 2020 for gaming. Kinda. It's only like two months in for gaming news and March 1st is in like two days from now. So, yeah. We're gonna take a look at some stuff that I really wanted to talk about. Uh, one of those things being the games that came out and some games that were announced. So the first thing I wanted to talk about, because January really wasn't that eventful, or at least I don't remember it being, I don't know if there was anything announced in January, but I don't remember anything. Um, I guess that's just how good my memory is. I don't remember anything that happened a month ago. Because it's still February when I'm recording this. Um, but the really big thing that I remember is the Scott Pilgrim game being released uh, because it was taken off stores like how long ago is that was that 2012 it was something like that this game was taken off all stores Xbox and PlayStation and PC it was taken off this game is like really cool too uh, you know it's it's like a I love the Scott Pilgrim movie it's this movie's like my second movie like favorite movie of all time I do also have all six comics back there on the manga shelf uh, so I really love the Scott Pilgrim franchise. So I really wanted the game when I heard about it, but obviously I couldn't. And this looks really cool, and I haven't bought it yet, as you can see. I plan on getting it eventually, just not right now, uh, because it's not something I was like super excited for. But it's really the main thing I remember in January releasing, or at least that's what I kept up with. There's nothing I really remember being released, honestly, uh, or being announced. And I could be obviously I'm I'm definitely wrong on that, like definitely wrong on that. Uh, so yeah. All right, so now we're jumping into February. February was a pretty good month, kind of, not gonna lie. There was some pretty good stuff. But uh, the things that I really wanted to talk about and the things that, I was, that I'm really excited for that happened in February as a whole, there's one game that I've been playing a lot of and I really love and I plan on doing some stuff with, on, with the channel. Uh, that game being Honey Pop 2 Double Date. Now, <laughs> this game, uh, Honey Pop is a very important franchise to me for like some arbitrary bull that I'm not going to get into right now. But overall, this game means a lot to me. So I've been waiting for the second one to release for a long time. So when it finally came out on February 8th, uh, I bought it as soon as I could. Uh, I think it was February. I, did I buy it on the same day? I think I bought it the, like the day after. I don't remember. I think I got paid the day after. So I had to, or some some weird something like that. So yeah, I was really excited about this game. And I played it, as you can see, for <laughs> almost in like days worth of hours um and i am on the last date right now uh so i should have that beat soon and what i want to do is and i'm not going to promise to do this but what i want to do is i want to play through the game again on the hardest difficulty uh, i'm playing on normal right now just because i wanted a challenge but i also enjoy it at the same time so expect something but don't expect something <laughs> uh so that's really what like the game i've been playing in february uh really haven't been playing anything else besides this uh, but there was some things that was announced, so let's go ahead and hop into that. So, as most of you know, there was a Nintendo Direct that happened... When was that? Yeah, a week ago. Uh, there's a Nintendo Direct that happened on February 17th, and overall, eh, I, I gotta say, I personally am not a fan of it. Not, like, big on it. Wasn't, like, a lot of good games announced. Uh, we got work that they're still working on Breath of the Wild 2. Uh, so for the 35th anniversary, what they're doing is they're releasing Skyward Sword HD. 
I'm, I'm excited for it. I'm going to get it. Uh, but, I mean, I kind of called this like a year ago that they were going to be doing this for the 35th anniversary because I knew they didn't have anything planned thanks to uh, the Backstreet Boys reunion tour. Um, I mean, it's cool. I'm excited for it. I'm glad that they added stick controls and we don't have to use motion controls. It's kind of weird you have to use the joystick. I wish they would have made something different. Um, now, what I'm actually excited for for the Zelda franchise, we're getting these sick looking Joy-Cons. I am excited. They're based after the Master Sword and the Hy Hyrulean Shield, so... I'm going to be getting these as soon as I can, because I've been wanting something like this for a long time for the Zelda franchise. Because Breath of the Wild was a release title for the Switch, we didn't get any special bundles. We only got the, uh, you know, just the base Switches uh, in the game released the same day. So they haven't really done anything too special with it. Uh, you know, all of the, like, you know, something like the Animal Crossing Switch where that released with that game. Uh, I'm hoping they release a new Switch with Breath of the Wild 2, and I will be getting that because I need a new one, but this will suffice for now. They look sick, and I will be getting them as soon as I can. Now we're going to talk about what everyone is talking about on this entire, like, on the internet as a whole, and it's something that I think everyone is super excited for. Uh, I believe two days ago they had a Pokemon Direct. I watched it. I'm excited. Um, mainly because of this right here. We are finally... Oh, God. We're finally getting what we all asked for ten years ago. Oh, crap. Mm, I'm so happy about this, man. Flip my shit right here. <laughs> man, I can't wait. I cannot. <laughs> I'm so ready to revisit them, man. Oh, I, you bet I am. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so excited for this. Oh, my cords fell. Oh, man, it looks so gorgeous. <laughs> I am so happy about like that. There. Mm, I'll, actually, I'll be quiet. I'll talk about it in a second. <laughs> Mm, bring on that sheen, baby. Bring it on. And Shining Pearl. Yes. Yes. Late 2021. Whew. That is what everyone's talking about, and for good reason. They are finally remaking what is possibly the best games in the entire Pokemon franchise. Uh, obviously, Pokemon is a very subjective thing, and people love different games, but I think this is their magnum opus, and we have been asking for this remake for 10 years now. I think so. Somewhere around that. So, um, the fact that we're actually finally getting these games after such a long wait, oh man, I'm so excited. Not only that, like, th this looks amazing. They're not doing what they did with the other games where they're using the same style as the other games. I believe they're still using the same engine, judging from the hair and how it looks. I don't know about the shading. I think that's my main problem with it, is uh, looking at Barry. Uh, let's see where he's at. Yeah, looking at Barry, I think my main problem is the hair. There's no shading on it, and it's not very defined. And that's, I think that's my main problem. But overall, I am in love with this original looking style. Like, I, I, I can't. Like, I'm so, I'm so excited about these games. I don't think you understand. I will be buying both versions of the games and playing through both versions of them. I'll probably play through one of them on the channel just because I'm super excited. My main thing I'm worried about is I, I'm hoping they don't nerf the game too much. I know the game will be a bit nerfed because of fairy typings and now Cynthia will not be as hard, but in those games, Cynthia is a absolute monster to fight. Like, I don't know if you, you don't know what true pain is after you fight Cynthia. Like it is a insanely hard battle. So I believe that's gonna be nerfed due to the um, the fairy typing. And there's some pretty common fairy typings in that game, especially in your own. You get a Ralts pretty early, so you'll be able to take it on. Uh, there's an Eevee. What's the other one? There's another one that's a fairy typing that's actually pretty early in the game. Hmm, I'm not sure. But overall, I'm excited for them and I will be playing through them. Uh, actually, there's another game that I don't have pulled up that was announced before this. 
yeah this is this is definitely the next game that i will be playing i'm going to be streaming this game the day it releases um for those of you who didn't watch i will have a i will have like something edited together kind of weirdly but i, I played through pokemon snap one entirely on the on the twitch channel and uh, you know, I think I played it because they announced this and I had never played the first game even though I owned it So I played through it. I loved that game and now we're finally getting a second one after like 20 something years So yeah, we'll be playing this as soon as I possibly can like the game looks absolutely gorgeous 10 times better than the first game. Why is my internet wanting to mess with me? God, it looks so good We're not gonna watch this whole trailer just because we have a, I have a, one more thing that I want to talk about um, before I end this but God, it looks so good. The shading is my favorite part about it. Just the shading and how the sun hits them. The shadows look gorgeous as well. So, but there's one last game that I want to talk about before I end this, uh, and that would be this one. I'm not going to watch the whole trailer for this one as I, either. I just kind of want to skip to a specific part. This game is called Pokemon Legends Arceus, and it should be coming out early 2022. This game takes place before the Sinnoh games. This is like centuries before that. This is like the formation of Sinnoh, basically. From what I could gather, you have to build the Pokedex. That's what you are doing is building it. So, they're making an open world Pokemon game now. <laughs> I think people complain so much about the battle area, or the, the trainer area, or whatever it's called in Sword and Shield, that they just like, fine, full game, new open world. And it actually looks really good. Like, I'm actually super excited for it. Ah, I love it. Oh yeah, this right here. <laughs> ah oh i'm so excited for it i will be pre-ordering all three games i think drew actually already did pre-order both uh, diamond and pearl and arceus oh man oh man it's so good i'm not like super pumped like excited eccentric about it because i've already seen them and i've already freaked out enough about them as it is so i mean that's it but overall like I'm, i am very excited for this this is going to be a great year in gaming uh, it already st has started to be, be a great year in gaming, so um, here's hoping we get a lot more. Um, but yeah, ho hopefully I'm I'm going to be back on the channel. Hopefully I'll have uploads up, and I'm definitely going to start streaming next week. We'll be building a Lego X-Wing that I bought, so yeah. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, thank you guys so much for your patience on me coming back. And uh, don't forget to you know subscribe, hit that like button, all that stupid stuff that YouTubers say. <laughs> and uh, as always, I will see you guys in another video. Bye-bye and later.